All right, back to the 90 Mercury four stroke. Uh, the last little repair I need to do is this voltage regulator has gone bad. I have tested it and there is uh, about 18 AC volts coming between all of these lines. And you can test that by actually removing this coil cover here and you see there's a connector. This connector right here, you disconnect that. I'll show you. Just pull this cover off too. Give you a little space. There you go. And you can test the power between each of these, between one and two, one and three, and two and three. I have 18 AC volts on all of them. That tells me that the stator is still charging like it should. Just the voltage regulator itself is bad. Now, these three yellow wires, that's where the wires come in from the stator. That's where you get your AC voltage in. And then it sends it out here as DC voltage, red positive, black negative. If you follow this black wire right here, it comes out and connects to this bolt that grounds it out. If you follow these red wires they used two because quite frankly they just didn't want to make one thick one i guess i guess so it go one of them goes up to a fuse here and the other one goes up to an infuse here both of them attach to that bolt right there which is the positive lead that goes back to the battery so i'm going to bypass this so i was actually able to find this voltage regulator right here this is for a Polaris side-by-side -side. it's a 50 amp which is the right size for this size motor it's got your three wires where it connects to the stator and in fact I even think the connector is the same look at the connector right here that looks like the same connector is probably gonna plug in right there and then you have one black and one red wire I'm just going to splice those two red wires together and then connect it to the red wire and then run the black wire spliced into this black wire. And then it should work and give me some DC voltage. So just a little history on this and how I diagnosed the voltage regulator as bad. I mentioned before, if you check the voltage between each of these different wires, which you can do easily at the connector up here, they should have from the stator 18 to 20 volts at idle. Now this was running rough and the voltage on the battery was only 12 when it was running, which obviously is not correct. It needs to be up 13 or higher basically to recharge the batteries. So I knew I had AC voltage coming from here like I was supposed to. However, I had the low voltage on this side. So that's how you know it's the voltage regulator itself. Also, just to mention the reason I'm doing this is because of this part is about a month out on order and i don't want my boat down for a month and it's about to be fourth of july my wife said make it work so here's this polaris one and i mentioned before that i thought the connectors were the same it turns out they are exactly the same they even have the same little thing where they plug into the motor here to hold it on you see this i mean so that's great that's gonna work perfectly there. In fact, this one is a lot beefier than the factory one, to be honest with you. Uh, I probably am going to see if I can't get this wire to fit underneath the cover, since it is temporary. That way, I can go ahead and mount this inside that compartment on the pontoon. That way, I know it stays out of the water and I don't have to worry about it vibrating around inside of my motor box. I changed my mind. I am going to keep it inside this box because I can't fit the connector through there. So I'd have to cut and splice these stator wires, which would work. But I might as well just use this because it is only to temporary anyway. All right, got it all zip tied in here. You see, I have a bunch of zip ties in there. It's actually pretty good. And if it bounces at all, it should bounce against nice squishy wire thing this is the wires from the actual new regulator 
see it goes back in there, zip tied on this side, zip tied up there. This is the connector which plugs right in. This connector up here, I'm gonna leave this until I actually get the replacement part and I'm able to take that out. Uh, you can leave these wires just like they are because those ones are disconnected at the plug up there. I will be cutting these, cut these two reds, splice it into this red, cut this black, splice it into this black from the new regulator, from the Polaris regulator. Again, the Polaris regulator is a lot heavier duty than the one that's built into this, which is kind of nice. So I just wanted to show you real quick with the meter. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand. We'll see if it works. I'm going to touch that bolt right there that's underneath those zip ties. And then this bolt right here, which is where all the positives feed in. Touch that, touch that. You can see I have 12.1. And that's because it hasn't been charging. So if I started it up right now, it's actually gonna show me like 11.5, 11.7. And your coils will be proportionally lower on their spark power. That's how that works. So it was running real rough at idle. So I'm going to go ahead now and cut these wires and splice into there. And I'll come back once I've done that. Now she's all rigged up. These are the red and the black wires coming out of the voltage regulator. You see the black is spliced into the black. The red is spliced into the red. That's your positive and negative. That's gonna recharge your battery. And I did it right here because that way it still goes through the stock fuses that are set up. The stator wire is connected right in there with the connector. So now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the hose and fire it up and see how many volts we got. small amount of time ran it for maybe like two minutes already up 12.35 so it is recharging like it's supposed to now if i was doing this as a permanent thing obviously i'd make some kind of bracket here um this is only 50 bucks off of amazon and got here within two days so that's why i'm doing this uh, these are like 170 bucks but 50 bucks for a temporary fix, worth it to me. All right, that's the video. Now you know how to connect just about any regulator to a 11 pole or three phase stator and get your stuff back up and running again for 50 bucks. Can't beat that.